Hey, hey, Tony Gasser here. Yesterday got a good question in the comments talking to me about is a man, how do you tell the difference between is a man serious or is he crazy? Now, the word that was used, narcissist, y'all know I really don't deal with the words and terminology that people try to throw around and stuff. And just do the misdiagnosing and mislabeling things. But when you think about this, what you got to realize is that every single man that you meet just like cheating can look like faithfulness you know or faithfulness can look like cheating what i mean by that is a person could be working on a job and they got a lot a whole lot of work and the man got to work two hours over because he got to hit his quota he got to finish they got a lot going on well another man could be working on his job get off at the normal time but say he had to work two hours overtime but really he went to his side woman house and was in between the sheets so now the faithful man gets accused of cheating because she was cheated on by another man who used to say i had to work late so that's what i mean Faithfulness can look like cheating. The same thing happens when a genuine man is genuinely interested in a woman. That can look like he's crazy. It can look like he's trying to love bomb. And remember what I'm telling you, okay? <clears throat> remember what I'm telling you. And you got to be specific and not look around outside this, you know, a lot of times women listening to my videos and the way a woman's mind works is you either take stuff way out of context or you try to apply it to something else. Just take it for what it is at face value. Okay. Now, when I say a man who is interested in you is going to be calling you, he's going to want to talk to you at least an hour a day. An hour is not a lot of time. Y'all got to realize like, I don't even know you and I give you an hour of my time. You see what I'm saying? Think about what I'm telling you. I don't even know you and I'm giving you an hour of my time. When I shoot these videos, when I go live, that's 90 minutes. Ain't nothing. Ain't, I'm not going to get anything that a man going to get in a relationship. In a relationship, he okay. Boom. Mm, 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 mm. He flipping and tossing. I'm not getting none of that. And I'm giving you an hour of my time. An hour is not a lot of time. And you got 24 hours in a day. I'm getting on the phone and coaching clients for an hour. With that same hour, I could have been writing, trying to write me a bestseller in that hour. With that hour, I could have been playing catch with my son outside with that hour. And so, yeah, I'm getting paid, but some things that I'm interchanging for that hour is priceless. You see what I mean? So I'm giving strangers an hour. So understand when I tell you that a man who is interested in you will want to talk to you at least an hour a day. That is not a lot of time. That's not even because what's 24 divided by 10? 2.4. So that means 2.4 hours would be 10%. So one hour, he ain't even giving you 10%. You see what I mean? He giving you less than 5%. Because then what? Um, 1.2 would be 5%. He giving you one hour. Not 1.2 hours or 2.4 hours. He giving you one hour. So guess what? You got to understand that, that that's not a lot of time. Now, another lady posed a question and somebody answered her and answered the question very, very well. And that was like, Tony, you know, isn't an hour too much? Is that, shouldn't we be playing hard to get? You know, anytime I talk to a man and we talk for an hour, he turned out to be crazy or something like that, she was saying. And the young lady told her, what Tony said is that a man who is interested will be
calling you every day and he will be trying to talk to you. But if you're not available, okay. But at the same time, don't play mind games by trying to not be available when you sitting there ain't got nothing to do. You sitting there by your phone. And, and that's where I always tell you, when you play mind games, everybody loses. Because it's a, it's a lot of people, men and women, the phone rang and then the, okay, I'm just, the phone just, phone rang and they just looking at it. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm just act like I'm mm, just act like I'm busy. And then watching the clock, sitting there watching the clock. The clock just for a whole hour and then at wait an hour then. Hey, so sorry. I missed your call. I was tied up in the lab doing a surgery. Um, yes, let me know when you're available. And then going to text and try to act like you be, you was busy saving the world. That's mind games. That's mind games. And whenever you play mind games, everybody loses. So this is what you got to understand. Whenever you meet somebody, you got to already have a three to six month timeline in mind before you really get any real answers. Because somebody who is what y'all call love bombing you, somebody who, what other people may call a bugaboo, somebody who's doing that, you may not know that. It may not look any different than the genuine guy. So what's going to happen is, this is what you got to realize. The person y'all calling a narc and narcissist, okay, love bombing, crazy, whatever you want to call it, that person is going to have other things going on with that. That's how you tell the difference. So if what this person over here, the narc does, which I don't know what that is, but this is what y'all keep hollering in my comments 50 times a day talking about a narcissist. So if what this person does is love bomb you to get you hooked so that they can have control and use and abuse if that's what they do then guess what that's negative toxic energy that's a negative toxic person so guess what their interaction is not going to be pure so a genuine man who's calling you every day talking to you every day and when i say an hour listen listen okay y'all got to use you know some sense okay I don't mean that you on the phone and you like, okay, 58 minutes, 57 seconds, okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, yeah, yeah, okay, 46 more seconds. Okay, 59, 59, all right, so, uh, yeah, so it was great talking to you. You know, give me a call tomorrow, all right, bye. That's not what I'm saying, that you that you keep looking at the phone and you trying to get to 59, 59, then you hanging up at an hour. No, if y'all talk 37 minutes, it's the same thing. If you talk an hour and 15 minutes, that's the same thing. You see what I mean? Don't be so, so, so specific. So understand this. The man who has bad intentions could look just like the man who have good intentions because see, this is what you got to realize. A man wants what he wants. So I, I know men who are not where they want to be financially but yet they will get on google and they'll look at their dream car every day guys will go to the website of the company and spec out a car they will spec out their rolls royce rafe and they may be they may never get to that point or they may be 10 20 years from being able to legally afford that Rolls Royce, but they will go spec it out. What I'm saying is that when a man wants some, he be bought it. You hear me? He be bought it. So if a man meet a woman and he really want her, do not think it's strange. And this is a genuine man. Do not think it's strange that he texts you in the morning. Hello, beautiful. 
Do not think it's strange that he texts you in the morning. He texts you on your lunch break. He texts you right after you get off of work to see if he could get on the phone with you. He talked to you on your way home or on your way to the gym. You have your food. You have your dinner. Then he texts you after that to see if y'all can get on FaceTime after dinner. Do not think it's strange if that's the kind of energy he's trying to give you. Now, see, this is the thing, though. This is the thing. A man who caveats and nuances, okay, t-shirt up under the video. The man who is serious about you and with genuine, with good intentions, you're going to get attention. He's going to be pursuing you, but it's going to be healthy in the sense of he's not going to ask you to neglect your responsibilities. So if you say, oh, I got this, I got a test coming up because you still in, you know, continuing education, you higher learning, you still, you know, working on some things. You say, I got a test tomorrow, so I got to study. He will, like, okay, cool, cool. All right, study. You know, hey, no problem. Let, let's talk after you done studying. He's going to be healthy. The man over here on the other side that y'all be talking about, he's going to be like, oh, that could wait any time. Or why don't you just study while I'm on the phone with you? You know, just study and just read your work out loud and just do it. And I'll just sit on the phone. Now, he crazy. Now, he said he crazy. Okay. The healthy man, he going to be like, okay, yeah, go ahead. Do that. You know, or you say, oh, okay, I got to cook. Now, if you could cook with your AirPods in, you know, your headphones in, okay, cool. Y'all could talk about what y'all cooking. Y'all could cook together. You could be telling him, okay, now just put a splash of Himalayan salt. Okay, then you want your splash of curry powder. Okay, now let's get the paprika. You know it don't do nothing, but it look good. Put the paprika on there. So you could be taking him through a recipe and y'all on the phone. That's a cute little date night. In this, especially in this 19 when you don't need him in your house coughing or you don't need to be in his house coughing. So y'all could be right there. All right, that's healthy. Now... This where we go wrong at, and this where I used to be. Okay, I used to be one of these type. So yeah, um, let's just keep the phone on and just go to sleep, and till till we both fall asleep, and I can hear you breathe. Now he crazy, he crazy. Okay, now that right there. No, bro, I'm going to have to get off this phone because I'm not going to have this 5G by my head for eight hours. Okay, so I got to go. Um, It was nice talking to you. I got to go. So anytime between that hour and two hour mark, you need to be getting off the phone because if you live in a productive life, you should not have more than two hours just completely free. Okay, you need to be making some progress. So see, that's the thing. When the man negative, it's going to be a case to where he's going to want you to neglect your responsibilities. He's going to want to be a distraction. Oh, study with me on the phone. And you trying to study, but he keeps starting up new conversation. You're like, bro, like, what's going on? Like, I can't really... I'm, t I'm learning about the microbial chronalisms and you on here talking about your lawn man put too much fertilizer out there i can't get this what i'm trying to learn about these microbial chronalisms so you're gonna have to let him know unfortunately i have to go okay so that's how you also teach a man train a man about what you about that you're not some lost woman with your tail tucked between your legs, running around with your tongue hanging out your mouth looking for a man. Now, here's the thing. When you building, you got to be genuine. So, what we do wrong is we mess up by playing mind games. You try to act busy. You ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got nothing to do, but you're going to get off the phone. That's time y'all could have been building. You could have been talking, but you act like you got something to do. You building on the wrong foundation. You get a text message, you don't want to text right back because you don't want to look lonely and desperate because you actually are feeling lonely and desperate and you sitting there with your phone in your hand and before the text all the way delivered, you already got a text loaded up, ready to go back. Okay, do it. Okay, send the text. 
You sitting there on your phone, just send a text. Because guess what? You need that in the bank. You need that immediate response in the bank because one day you're going to get a text and you're going to be asleep. And you're not going to be able to respond. One day you're going to be in a meeting or an important phone call or at work and your boss there. And you can't text. So you're going to need them immediate responses where you were available. You're going to need them in the bank so that the person you're dealing with could say, okay, well, it ain't like he or she ignores me all the time. A lot of times they, boom, I get hit right back. Now, here's the thing. How does this person handle the time that you could not text back? The time that you were not available to answer the phone call. See, this what this this what you got to do. This how you have to understand the differences between the healthy and the toxic. It's the byproduct. It's the things around the action. So it's not just the phone call for an hour a day. It's not the multiple text and the phone call, or the multiple text, the phone call, and the FaceTime. It's not that act. It's the stuff around it. So it's when you got to go, is the person okay with letting you go? When you can't respond to a text, is the person still sane and okay when you respond to the text? And you say, hey, so sorry I was I was um, working, or hey, so sorry I was sleeping. And they're like, and they respond back, okay, cool, it's, it's no problem. You never have to apologize. You see what I mean? That's totally different. And I done dealt like this with guys, like in business, to where somebody hit me and I, and I don't hit them back. And then, because I'm tied up and I hit them back, like, listen, bro, I get it. You never have to apologize. And then I done dealt with guys who like, yeah, right, whatever. You probably screening me. Man, stop ignoring my calls, you know, and really be serious. And I remember a guy was acting like that with me. And I had let him, like, hold on, bro. Bro. You not my girlfriend, bro. Bro, don't ever in your life check me. And I told a boy like that right there. I don't curse, but I let him know straight like that. And I ain't never talked to him from that day. I, hey, I, I, I become people off. I become people off. You hear me? I, don't, I ain't got the time, okay? I'm, I'm productive, okay? I'm going this way. If you with the foolishness, I, I got to go, Okay? Man, woman, business, cousin, family, friend, uncle, auntie. You hear me? So what you got to pay attention to is how does the person respond? And remember what I told you. Recognize crazy early. Recognize crazy early. So this where y'all go wrong in the first 30 days. He texts you, you tied up. You're not playing mind games now. If you're playing mind games, you deserve what come to you. So, and you got to deal with that because you created that. But you ain't playing mind games. When you're available, you're hitting right back. You're available, you're answering the phone. You're not available, you ain't by the phone. When you get available, you hit back, okay? First 30 days, he go to acting crazy. Yeah, right, what were you doing? You probably were with another man. Call me right now. And then you got to call him. Hello? Yes, what, what are, what's going on with you? And then, and then he over here, yeah, what, what were you doing when I called you? And then he's serious now. And then you, why are you acting like this? What's, I mean, this is like, uh, what's going on? Then he over here, I'm finna call you on FaceTime right now. Then he FaceTime, and then he you is on FaceTime, and where you at? Show them what's behind you. Spin around. Now here you is on FaceTime. And you spin all the way around. So he can see ain't no another man with you. Make sure you ain't at no man house. It's y'all been talking 30 days. 60 days. 90 days. And you doing 360s on FaceTime. He crazy. He crazy. You got to go. You see what I'm saying? So a man that's healthy, the man that's healthy, what he's going to do, he's going to say, um, 
Hey, okay, hey, it's cool. Hey, it's cool. I understand. I, hey, I like a woman that's busy. Nah, hey, nah, you ain't got to fake like you busy, but a woman that's really busy, like you actually busy, hey, that's commendable because a lot of women are here sucking their thumb, waiting on a man to rescue them. So you ain't got to apologize to me about being busy, being about your business. Hey, I'm with it. The man that's healthy, that's what he going to say. But and then guess what? The crazy man going to say that too probably in the first 30 days. Now that's 60 day, that 90 day, that 120 day, that 150 day, that 180 days. By the 180 days, decision got to be made. You got to be made. You got you a healthy, sane, productive man or you got you a crazy lunatic that's winding up like Jack in the Box. You remember Jack in the Box? He winding up like Jack in the Box. And then one day when you least expect it, it might be right after you get married on your honeymoon. Right after you get married, he, he go, And he missed the crazy. Whoo. He right there on you. You like, whoa, what's the world? What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. He been showing you he was crazy. He showed you with them texts. He showed you with them phone calls. He showed you how he popped up on you at, at your job. He showed you how he popped up on you at your house. He showed you how he get mad with you for living life, for being busy, for having something to do, and then give you a silent treatment for 24 hours. Oh, he showed you he was crazy then. But see, you thought it was normal, and you took it for granted. Hey, you know, I apologize about this video being short, but... um. Uh, the spirit just left me. You know, when I'm on here talking, I'm just talking, Holy Spirit, leave me, and I'm just a vessel. And so some things go an hour, some things might be 20, some things might be 30, some things might be 45, but I just felt the spirit left me, say, we done with this here message. Um, so if you want this to be an hour, uh, watch it two more times, and you'll get a whole hour. And I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of y'all be arguing with me in the comments. But the point that you making in the comments, I addressed it in the video. But you got a phone call or you got a text or you doing something else and listening to me as background noise. And then you want to come in the comments arguing with me about something that I already addressed in the video. So what you have to do with these videos, especially on the day that it's not an hour, listen to it two more times. So that you get your hour in if that's what you used to but you able to hear a different sentence that you did not hear the last time. Cause see what happened is when I say a sentence that, that triggers you, you start thinking about your relationship. You start thinking about, Oh, I went through that. And you start playing that out. You just mix, miss my next three, four, five sentences because of what you was thinking about. So that's why when you listen to it again, now you're going to hear another sentence that you miss. Just like when you read a book over, when you read the Bible over, Every time you go back, you get something from it that you didn't get the time before. So that's what y'all got to do with these here videos like this here. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. God bless you. Some probably hit me after when I end this video. Spirit jumped back on me then, so I put it in another video. And we'll talk soon.